Amazon has made some massive improvements to the Seller Central platform over the years. So in this video, I'm gonna go over a specific improvement that they've made that is gonna help you to have the ability to audit your account, see if you have wasted ad spend, et cetera, without even downloading a search term report. Let's get into it. In my last video, I went into how to use a search term report to do a quick audit of your account, you know, how to manipulate the search term report so you can see the important data that you need to see. Well, you know, and over the past year or two, Amazon has upgraded, you know, Seller Central and their Amazon ads platform to be able to allow you to do very similar things within Seller Central without having to download uh, a spreadsheet or anything like that. It's made it a lot easier and a lot quicker to do this. So, I mean, there still is a time and place for spreadsheets. Don't get me wrong. You can do a lot of powerful things with them. A quick look at the data, like see if, which keywords are bleeding, spending a lot of money. If you're trying to see how much wasted spend you have, you can do this all here. So our target aid cost is 30%. So we're going to look at what keywords need further optimization. Now, in this account, there may not be much this is one of our clients accounts so there may not be a lot of bad stuff going on here so we're going to go ahead and filter well first let's go ahead and set the date range we're going to go back the last 30 days we're going to look at everything with an a cost greater than 30 percent one second okay hit apply all right let's make sure we have our a cost we're going to looking for a cost make sure we do have a cost showing there we go all right so we can look at a cost here all right move myself out of the way here I'm going to sort by, this is filtering everything above 30%. So let's go ahead and sort by this. You can see we have plenty of targets that are above 30%. We want to look at something additional here and look at what has at least you know, 10 clicks or more. Because there may be some things, you know, they're getting sales, but they may not have a lot of clicks. Or, and we can also see some things that are already paused, like for example, this. But we can see that some, you know, they still have some optimization that need to be done, okay? So right here, this one here, okay? And of course, some of these have a different strategy. You kind of have to dig in and see, you know, why you're running certain campaigns at the same time, or it's like a newer campaign, okay? So this is a different type of strategy that's going on here. So we really need to dig on into exactly why and what the plan is for that specific campaign. But at least this is a quick way you can look at all of these things without having to, you know, again, download, search term report and manipulate a spreadsheet. So with that said, let's go in here and we'll filter this further. And we can go in here and look at clicks and we can say anything greater than 10 clicks. So this is, we can filter this even further. So we know this stuff that we're about to look at right here, not only has a higher A cost, but has also been at least tested with a minimum amount of clicks, okay? So everything in here is above 30% and it has a minimum amount of clicks that we're looking for at least to, to call it a fair test. We got to go in here and we got to do some trimming. And it looks like on this, plenty of campaigns, again, depending on the strategy and a lot of these to be fair are paused targets. Okay, so, but again, we can look at what's going on here at a high level really quickly, okay? All right, now the next thing we can do is we can come in here and look at wasted ad spend. So we can keep this, okay, 10 clicks. Okay, so we wanna, again, give it a fair test. Now we can say, okay, filter by orders. So we wanna have at least, or we wanna have zero orders. So we'll say less than one order. but that have 10 clicks, okay? These all have at least 13 clicks, 10 clicks, et cetera, et cetera. So we can see really quickly that these are targets that have spent that have not gotten any sales, okay? Now again, the only difference is here, these are the specific targets. Now, if you wanna get more granular, that's where you're gonna need to get into the spreadsheet and you're going to need to, if you wanna actually see which specific search terms, for example, that have actually spent and got no sales, for example, you're going to need to 
dig in a little deeper. Okay, so that's another part of this. But we can see here at a quick high level that we have about 770 in the last 30 days of kind of spend that maybe could be optimized. Maybe we want to take a closer look. That is, again, if we are using, you know, 10 clicks or more as a good test, it could be, it could depend on the product. You could say you need at least 20 clicks to get a good test. It may be affordable enough for you to do that. It depends on your goals for the campaigns and for the specific product. Because for this account specifically, you know, if we're seeing that you know, overall sales are 153,000, you know, 750 bucks of spend with no clicks is probably not that big of a deal. All right, guys, so definitely give this a try as a quick way to audit your account, see what's really going on at a high level. But yeah, go ahead and check out the last video I did if you wanna you know, take a deeper look into what's really going on with your campaigns with the specific search terms. And you can take a look at that using the search term report. I show you exactly how you can manipulate the search term report to see what the wasted spend is in your account. If there's any keywords that need optimizing, okay, that are not meeting your margin goals. So until next time, make sure you give me a like if you got some value out of the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.